What up, broskies? It's Josh with Deprived Productions, and we are doing a seventh UE4 material tutorial today. We're going to make like a custom health bar, kind of vertical health bar kind of thing. You ever play a game, you're making a game, you got your health bar over there on the left, right? It's on the left of the screen there, and it's kind of draining because you're dying all the time. Maybe it's red or whatever or not. All I know is I'm pumped about this video, guys, because it is something new. I kind of figured this out on my own, Ugh, and it was awesome, and I can't wait to show you guys. So get ready. We're going to use everything we've learned and some new stuff. Let's go. Right click, material. Let's name it health, okay? I don't know how to spell it. I'm going to spell it the best I can. Don't judge me. I'm going to drag it on my mesh. I'm going to double click on the health now, and it'll, of course, open up the material. Yeah, we got it in the second window here like I like it. Now, okay, here we go. Wait. Wow, this is selected. We got some stuff going over. We see this default lit here. Set it to unlit. It's going to change some parameters. We talked in mean, the first material of the video, I think it was, I showed a couple things how this would be, it's real, real flat now. We want a, uh, a material here that doesn't be, that isn't affected by light because it'd be kind of like on your screen or something. So I'm just showing you an example. Okay, so check it out. Emissive collar instead of the base collar. Hold the number three, uh, drag a collar in there, and we'll set it to like that, uh, like red, like health would look, yeah? Oh, there we go. Now we got our ball. No light affecting it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to switch to the plane, okay? Now... If I, if I go around like that, it disappears. We're going to have to fix that right now. Click back on this. You see the old two-sided boxes. Check that. Simple fix. Sure, that's a little harder on uh, resources, but we'll be fine right now. But boom, yeah, I just want you to be able to see it on both sides. Got a little red box here. Now, here it says opaque, the blend mode. We've been, we haven't really worked with translucency, have we? We're going to work with it a little bit right now. Translucent. See-through stuff, opacity is opened up. So hold, check this out. I'll show you how this works. Hold the number one click and you got a constant value. If you plug that into opacity, zero, it's gone. If I set it to one, it's there again, right? So if I set it to 0 0.5, 0 0.2, okay, you see what's going on here. Making a little see-through. You know what I'm saying? Like a little bit of, little bit of trans, little transparency. Okay, let's get rid of that. We don't need it. Uh, we're going to do some cool stuff, though, so get ready. All right. Real new here. We're gonna type in uh, texture coordinate first thing. Let's look at this thing. So zoom in. You can hold CTRL and kind of zoom a little closer. It's awesome. Hold down this uh, arrow here. You can see what the material would look like if it was plugged straight in. If I'd plug that into a missive, you would see that. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. Draw, drag, 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 drag a little wire from right here and type in the word mask. You'll see component mask. Grab that. Let's let's pull that down too. Okay. Well now while this is selected, you've got these. Uh, Think right, red and green are checked. If I only have green checked, look at what it does. It has like a gradient, right? A gradient from white to black like this. Now, if I do red checked by itself, uh-huh. Yeah, we got it like that, right? I want green checked. Think about that. I kind of want the health to go from up, down, vertical or whatnot. So if I plug this into a passage, you see what we get. Oh, 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 son, save that. Go out here and look at it. Let's like, see the gradient. So white or one is the red, right, or the red, because the emissive of white or one is opaque, or zero, or black is translucent. Think about that, guys. I mean, freaking awesome. You got this thing here, so now it's kind of cool, because you could kind of, like, get right here and, like, scroll up and watch the... Oh, what in the world? Dude. Oh, my God. That... That is awesome. I didn't know that was going to happen that cool. But still, you know, it's, that was, wow. I got all kind of cool ideas. Uh, that was sweet. Um, yeah, but you see what's going on here. Let's, let's double click and keep moving with it. We got, that's not going to work, but you, we're, we're getting there, right? We're getting there. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to unclick that. Drag a wire from here and uh, type in subtract. Okay. We're going to subtract a value. Uh, hold the number one and click to get a number. And we'll, we'll, we'll set it right here real quick. Okay. I might have to change that later. Um, we're going to see what it is. And this may actually be our parameter later. We're going to make a parameter in an instance and everything. So go to subtract. I'll, I'll, I'll pull this thing down here, okay? Uh, let's set this 0 to 0 0.5, okay? Okay, you see what it did there? It cut it kind of in half. What if I set it to 0.3? It didn't update. If it doesn't update, just do this and do this. See what it did there? Okay, it changed it. So if I do 0 0.8, it might cut off a little more. Might cut off a little more. Okay, we're getting there now. But see, the problem is we still have that gradient. We're getting closer, but we got that gradient. We don't want that. Well, see, what's going on, and it's 1 to 0 here. 1 to 0, and then 0 is all the black. What we need to do is we need to round every value up so that if it's anything but 0, it's 1. We can do it, son. Drag a wire. Type in C-E-I-L for ceiling or seal, and boom. Look at what it did. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Now... If I change this value, you'll see it pop up here. I got this red bar, right? 2.2 .2 maybe, see what 0.2 does? Yeah, one is full, 
Actually, one is empty and zero is full. And see, that's the problem. We, we gotta be able to fix that. Okay, so this is what I wanna do. We're gonna pull this back a little bit because I wanna set it up to where? Move us around. Zero is f empty and 100 is full. We got a little work to do, we got a little math to do. Well, first things first, it's backwards. So zero should be empty and one should be full, if anything. So I want you to right click here and type in one, O-N-E-M for one minus, and it's gonna give us a negative value of that. Let's see what that does now. So now zero is empty, if it's selected, and press one, boom, now it's full. So 0.5 would be about half. We're working it out. But see, I wanna multiply that by a number to make this actually, let's hold the letter M and get the multiply, actually be zero to 100. So it's time to do a little math, okay? We gotta do a little math, we'll grab another Another, hold the letter, hold the number one, not the letter one, and, and plug it into the number B. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so, and we need to make this number something to where one would be 100. One needs to be 100. So I'm going to multiply this by 0 0.01. So this is 0 0.01. So now look at one. It means nothing but 100. Uh-huh. 50 is half. Maybe. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm toying with the wrong one, guys. Don't do it. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Make sure you click on the one here. So if I set it to 100, like I was saying, boom, 50 will be half, 25 a fourth, 75 is a, oops, something wrong there. If you go over 100, it's obviously just going to be maxed out, but boom. So this is my health now. So what am I going to do with that? You know what I'm going to do. Convert it. Oh, 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 don't do that. Right click it and convert to a parameter and name it health. You know why? Because we're going to make an instance with it. If I can spell health real quick, we got to hurry up. So I got my one parameter here, and I'm going to set it to right now to 100. So it's full, right? So we have a full bar of health. So that isn't even that complicated, guys. See what's going on there? And I know that's a little confusing. You know, sometimes you have to you have to do that and update them real quick and do all that. They don't update all the time. I wish they did. It'd be sweet. But we got a little setup here. Everything's working fine. We'll save it, okay? And then we'll do what we're supposed to do so we can kind of see it in action. We got our red bar. We'll right-click on this and create a material instance, and boom, and we'll drag that on there. Again, it didn't make a change because it's the same collar and all that good stuff, but we'll double-click on it, and we'll drag it over. Over here like this Sun and here's our health we got our bar we got our health we can click it and oh my goodness we got a freaking health bar zero I got 12 health left cuz I'm dying I'm gonna use a potion 85 I'm I'm good help but wait Full health, cause I found a, a, a cause I found a fairy or something. So, like, dude, it's awesome. Just really cool way of 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 kind of creating a dynamic material that actually works off a of gradient. And look, this is what's cool. Check this out, man. Like, look at that ball. It's got like the it's doing the sphere thing. It's kind of filling up. So you could have like you could make like a little ball of glass and then have like an uh, another ball and have it inside there and have it this and make it look like the glass ball was filling up. All kind of balls. Well, hope you guys hope you guys hope you guys learned a little something something. I know I did. I mean, I really did. I, I shrunk that a little bit. Um, it's 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 really neat, guys. What you can do with this whole uh, material instances thing. That's why I wanted to teach you that last video. Um, I hope this was super helpful. Again, you got a little health bar, and it changes in real time. I mean, it's super awesome. Toy with that, man. Have some fun with it. You could you could expand on that. Um, just a simple way of making like a material that's obviously got a little more a little more action to it than your than your typical material instance. But yeah, have some fun, guys. I hope you guys learned a little something. Hit that subscribe button. Get on the channel. Spread the word. Spread the word. We got cool stuff coming out. Hit the Facebook page. Deprived Productions all day, every day. All day, every day. I'll see you guys soon, man. I hope you guys had a great, 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 great holiday. 2019. Let's get it done. Let's do it big, okay? Uh, ask me. If you have any questions, get a hold of me, okay? If not, keep doing what you're doing. Create something cool and show me when you're done. I'd love to see it. Take, take what we're learning here and make even more awesome stuff because I know you can, all right? Guys, have a good one. See ya.